protections on this aircraft is something that we covered in flight controls and we talked briefly about also in the auto flight part. V-Alpha Prod, V-Alpha Max and VSW for stall warning are computed by the FAC based on aerodynamic data. That means it is continuously calculated by the FAC and constantly updated to give a reflection of the current situation and current condition. They are only used for display purposes on the PFD. They are not flight control protection speeds. That is computed separately by the ELAC and the ELAC uses its own speed computations for the actual activation and control of the protection. Starting with V-Alpha Prod. V-Alpha Prod is part of the alpha protection on this aircraft. V-Alpha Prod angle of attack protection speed is displayed on the PFD to both pilots and it's represented by the upper portion here of the amber barbar pole. On top here we had VLS, here we have V-Alpha Prod. Illustrating also in terms of angle of attack and the margin to the critical angle of attack, we have shown right here that V-Alpha Prod has a significant margin already up, up to coefficient of lift maximum, which is the critical angle of attack for the aircraft. V-Alpha Prod corresponds to the angle of attack at which the aircraft protection becomes active. Now, you may not at this particular point see any real significance in the aircraft's handling. The side stick will no longer give inputs in pitch as load demand inputs as in normal law without the protection being active. It will give angle of attack inputs based on the deflection and the scenario you're currently in. If the speed is allowed to drop further, the speed can drop all the way down to V alpha max. V alpha max is the bottom of the amber pole displayed on the PFD, or you can say it's the upper portion of the red solid band. Displayed only on the PFD, it is an indication to the pilots that the aircraft is now dangerously low to stalling. Putting it up on our stall graph here, you can see that there is a minimum margin now to the onset of a stall. And this is the lowest margin that this aircraft will allow. And it will only be allowed with full back stick deflection. And holding that deflection means holding the nose up. The nose, however, will not be allowed to increase any further past this point and the speed will not be allowed to drop below that V-alpha max. V alpha max corresponds to the maximum angle of attack that may be reached in pitch normal law. V alpha protection is only available in normal law and is the first protection we lose if we go into alternate law. What is not indicated to the pilots on the PFD is V alpha floor. This is again something that's calculated by the fact, but it is in fact something that is operational from the auto thrust system. Whether the auto thrust is on or not is irrelevant. Signals from the FAC based on angle of attack and side stick deflection is sent and the auto thrust system will add V alpha floor, initiate toga power on the engines and locking it on the engines, regardless of where the thrust levers are at any given time. V alpha floor does not have a specific value, although it sits closer to V alpha prod than V alpha max. It is therefore not illustrated here. It is a function of the rate of change of speed for the aircraft as well as the side stick deflection at the given time. A V alpha floor puts torque power on the engines, trying to prevent the speed from dropping any further. V alpha prod. V alpha max and V alpha floor are all part of the alpha protection, the low speed protection on this aircraft. 
Should you have failures that brings the aircraft into alternate or direct law, you will not have alpha protection. Instead, it will be replaced by a stall warning speed. The stall warning speed is now indicated also on the PFD as the upper portion of the red bubble pole. And this is only an illustration indication on the PFD speed tape. The actual stall warning comes through the flight warning computers from the angle of attack sensor, the probe outside. But the stall warning here replaces the protection in alternate and direct law. If you have a stall warning, it is for the pilots to obey the stall warning and lower the nose as there's no protection that can override you to protect the aircraft. 